So the last step in the process is creating grade items in a weighted gradebook. You should know if you create grade items from the gradebook, these items are not associated with the gradable item, such as quizzes, Dropbox, and discussions. So the grades will have to be entered manually. It's best to create grade items for quizzes, Dropbox, and discussions from the tool and not from within the grade. And the reason for that is that when a student takes a quiz, the quiz grade will automatically end up in the gradebook. So I'm going to show you how to add grade items here that you would manually type into a weighted gradebook. On the Manage Grades area, I click New and choose Item. I click Numeric and I give the item a name. In this case, this is Quiz 1. I put it into a category. Quizzes is the category. I'll have the maximum number of points. And if you forget, um, if you forget to put it in a category, by the way, the overall grade calculation will be very skewed for students. So make sure you put it into a category. You can choose Can Exceed. And if you select this, uh, it will allow the user's grade to exceed the maximum points specified for the item. Don't choose Make a Grade Item Bonus Item Extra Credit right now. I would like, if you want to, please review the quick guide on creating bonus items in a weighted gradebook to learn how. Then I'm going to click Save and Close. And you'll notice that the, the item, this is a grade item, and it's got 10 points, and it's, got a, it's worth 100% of that 30% grade. I now go ahead and just repeat the process for all of my items here. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close. And notice as I do that, the weight of each of these items diminishes. So now I'm going to go to Item. And, and I'm going to add a homework item now. So homework one, I'm going to put it in the homework category. Now remember that homework, I have different point values for each of my homework. So the weights for each one of those individually will be different. Right now I only have one in there. Now if I add another one, another homework, and I'm going to put it into that category. Again, homework category. And this one's worth 15. Now, because this is worth 15, um, it has a different weight than the one that's worth 20. And now I'll finish up. Again, you just repeat this process. And exam one. And that's going to go into exams. And this is worth 50 points. And I'll save and close. And I'll finally finish it up with the last one. Now, if I do everything correctly, uh, there should be no notes at the top, meaning that everything is, is calculated correctly, adding up correctly, and the final calculated grade will be calculated uh, very will be calculated correctly.